and the ladies. Yay. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. Cool. So I know that there was quite a few that's, um, there was quite a number that registered. So we'll just allow them to come in whenever. But um, I am super, super excited to, um, to share this platform with Marlene and uh, for Marlene to be able to share her story um, and then for us to be able to do a collaboration and put some support in place. So, um, so I am so, so excited about what we're going to be sharing with you tonight. So um, Marlene, I think I would love you just to dive straight in and, um, and really just obviously not spend too much time, but just spend a little bit of time explaining your journey and what was so important about the different facets of your journey medically as well as the support that you got nutritionally and um, and any other support that you got. So I'd love to hear about your journey and how you managed to, to maneuver your way through probably the toughest time anybody could, um, you know, could, could actually go through, which I know that loads of people go through it, but I think this is a hugely tough journey. So um, yeah, Marlene, just explain your journey and, and what you went through. Hi everyone, welcome to this fabulous webinar. I'm so excited to be collaborating with um, Kerry. Libby, haven't seen you in a while, so I have to say hi and you're looking fabulous. <laughs> um, so for those of you who don't know me, I'm uh, Marlene Pretorius and um, I'm a triple positive breast cancer survivor. I don't want to call it survive, I want to call it thrive because I made the decision to thrive and not just survive. Um, I was diagnosed in 2018 and um, had a series of different surgeries. Um, I didn't go the chemo radiation way, so I had the option of either doing that or if I decided to have a double mastectomy, that's what I decided to do. Um, cancer has been part of my life since my mom was diagnosed and that's when I was 28 at the time, so I'm 46 now. I can't do the math this morning, <laughs> so that's quite a long time. Um, and when I first got diagnosed, it felt like my entire world was falling apart. I mean, it's you know, you you, I almost anticipated it because of mom having cancer, but I don't think you ever fully prepared to hear it. I then decided to take it into my own hands, like I've always done or tried to do and um, decided to have a double mastectomy that didn't work out for me. So I had a direct reconstructive surgery after the double mastectomy, and um, I'm now in my sixth year after that. Seven surgeries later, ended up with a flat aesthetic closure um, because I literally got cyst after cyst after cyst. And, you know, when you've had cancer once, that's always a thing to be aware of to you know if you feel any nodule or anything so I decided to have an aesthetic flat closure the treatment that I got put onto was um, tamoxifen for the first five years and then um, stradexa for the next five so we've just switched from the tamoxifen to the stradexa I'm saying just but it's been about four or five months now and um, the change that I can feel in my body. I mean, when I first got diagnosed and I went on the tamoxifen and tamoxifen, if anyone knows this um, hormone in inhibitor, it acts like a very light chemo tablet. So it's almost like you've got chemo over a longer period of time, but just your symptoms are lighter. And a lot of the symptoms are like menopausal symptoms and also chemo related symptoms. But what I found was when I found Kerry, because thank goodness I found Kerry. Um, <laughs> we, I think it was in between my second or third surgeries, I found Kerry. And um, we've been friends for years. And Kerry, you know, started with this journey. And she reached out to me and said, Maureen, I know what you're going through. Um, I've got this program. And let's, let's just see. We don't know. You know, it was, I was a bit skeptical. I didn't know what to expect. Um, you know, you oncologists will tell you what to do, how to do it. You firm believer in what they tell you to do. Um, and when I started running this parallel with my oncology and, you know, still have symptoms of 
the tamoxifen, but lighter symptoms. Some symptoms went away completely. And I feel like the, the natural way with the oncology way, that's what worked for me. And what actually got me through, you know, to where, at this point where I am today. Um, I couldn't grow my hair for five years. That was one symptom we couldn't relieve, unfortunately. So there's always, you know, something that you can't fix 100%. But that was due to psoriasis, um, you know, that was caused by this tablet. But all the other symptoms, the sweating, the excessive sweating, night sweats and, and um, hot flashes and, you know, everything that I got, I, I soon realized that if I change my, my lifestyle, I don't want to call it a diet because it's not a diet, change my lifestyle, I could manage it easily. You know, it was definitely a lot easier for me. Going through the diagnosis, the seven surgeries in three years, you know, pumped full of anesthesia, chemicals. Um, I was on 3,000 milligrams of antibiotics at one stage where, I, I mean, you know, bloating is an understatement, you know. Your, your, your stress levels are through the roof. Your body is in stress mode. So you literally pick up weight. There's so many things you can't control because you, you know, but you think that you can't control it until someone like Kerry reaches out and she's like, hey, Let's try this and you go through it and you're like, is it really that simple? <laughs> you know, is it that simple? But I could have, I could never do it on my own. That I have to tell you, I could never do this on my own. Just like I couldn't go through the whole cancer journey on my own. I needed my caregivers. I needed someone there to be with me, you know, and to help me through every day the absolute depression and anxiety that hits you, the devastation of losing my breasts at the end of it, you know, not an easy decision to make, but one that I had to, and I had to make it with my family and say, you know, we've done it seven times now. There must be a point where I can't, I don't have control over that, but I surely have control over the rest of my life, you know, that type of thing. But I've learned that through this, you know, through this journey going on to this program. So, yeah, I've, I definitely believe in natural with oncology. They put you on that tablet for a reason. Um, but you can enhance your life and not feel as bad, you know, or like that every single day. So, Marlene, I'm, I'm so curious to, to find out from you. Like, what was life like for you before your diagnosis? you know, and, and how much has obviously shifted and changed after your diagnosis and your journey? Yeah, 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 because, you know, you think I, people say things change, but until it happens to you, you don't really know how you're going to change. Um, I was an absolute chocoholic. I mean, I used to have dessert before I had dinner, unfortunately. My way of life was shocking. I'm not a I'm not a smoker. I'm not a drinker. I've never been. Um, and I feel like that's almost like a crutch in your life, you know, that people have habits and um, some people reach for a cigarette when they're stressed. Other people reach for a drink when they're stressed. Um, but eating is a social event. You know, it's a, it's socially acceptable. You entertain people. Um, if you don't smoke or drink or however, what do you do when family comes around? You all sit around a bowl of chips or biscuits or, you know, that's what you do because you chat and you catch up, but it's almost like food always comes into it. And um, I was on hundreds of diet pills. I have to tell you, and I'm going to be brutally honest, I'll even try diet pills that was off the market. If I say it out loud, it's scary. It's scary to think that that's what I actually put into my body um, because my I remember when I got diagnosed, I sat in front of the mirror the one day and I said to my husband, it, it sort of hit me like a, a bus ran over me. And I was like, my focus was always on being thin my entire life. I was always the little more pudgy one, you know, I had this tall, slender, blonde, beautiful friend who was very athletic. And, and um, I always wanted to be that. But obviously I went and my focus was the wrong, absolutely pointed in the wrong direction. I tried all sorts of tablets. And when you get diagnosed, you realize that instead of focusing on being healthy, I focused on being thin. And it was so wrong. It was so wrong. 
you know, um, when I, my after my second third or my second um, surgery, when I think when we got together, Kerry, and we decided this was, I think it was at my heaviest. Um, I, I almost weighed a hundred kilos because of all the medication, emotional eating, being devastated. You know, I had implants that I didn't know what to do with. My surgeries went wrong. The one implant broke through the inframammary fold. The other one um, flipped. You know, there were so many things, you know, you, you go through, I've got cancer. Oh, they got rid of cancer. But now what? I have this new body trying to get used to it. And a lot of times I thought it would be so easy for me just to take a tablet and I can lose weight again, but I can't. Why? Because I've had cancer. Why would I do that to myself? Why will I put something else into my body that can be absolutely devastating to it? So to find, to go through it, grow through it, because that's what you do. You grow. I feel that I've grown a lot. And then finding a natural way of dealing with your emotions, dealing with your weight, just overall feeling better, you know, coming out the other side and thinking, wow, I weighed a hundred kilos in one stage, you know, it's, and you look at the photos and you can't realize you, you, you it, it's not me. I can't think that that was me, but I was so caught up in this whirlwind of emotion and everything happening to me, devastation, if you want to call it that that I, I reached for food because that was my thing, you know? That's my thing to, I always say we, we I, I'm Afrikaans, we grew up Afrikaans. And if you don't, if you know South Africa, if I'm not sure where everyone's from, you know, Afrikaans people, if you're sad, they feed you. They If you're happy, they feed you. If they, you know, if you, if you got an award, oh, let's have something to eat. It just, you know, I grew up I like that. many cultures, so, many cultures um, celebrate the food, uh, when they're depressed, they have food. It's like there's food for everything. So I think you're not alone there. I think there's many, many cultures that are like that. But it yeah. um, it plays a huge part in our well-being. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. And once you once I started, you know, changing my lifestyle and um, feeling the way that I lifted my symptoms just by using the tools that you gave me, you know, using the I mean, I'm going to be brutally honest. You fall off the wagon because, you know, things happen to you in your life. You get stressed. I mean, I was on such a good roll. And then I um, I had to make the decision to have the, the flat to set a closure. And I think that hit me emotionally way harder than I actually realized. Um, but in hindsight, I can see that now because I picked up 20 kilos again. Why? Because I was emotional. And I didn't think about it because... You know, I'm this person, I put myself out there, I create awareness, I've always wanted to create awareness and say to women, please react to anything that you feel, you know, or that you, and by doing that, I almost suppressed the actual emotional feelings and I ate my way through it again. Um, but the nice thing is, is that this community waits for you, you know, they are there, they don't go anywhere, get back on it chubby faced and all and you're like all right it's okay let's do this I can do this again I know what to do you know um I have the tools so yeah it's 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 not an easy ride but it is an easy ride you know it's it's not an easy ride because of you know what you've had to go through um and so yeah I, I don't think we're going to say that it's easy for anybody but no. I do think what we what we would love to emphasize is that um, there are certain key things that I think are really important when you get a cancer diagnosis. And, and the big thing is support. Like yeah. who are your cheerleaders? Who are going to, who's going to be there to be with you and to be able to hear you through the ups and the downs. And, yeah. um, and Marlene, you know, I mean, you journeyed with this beautiful community through all your ups and downs for the last five years or even longer now, sorry. Yeah. I, I can't believe how quickly it's gone, but, um, but you've journeyed the journey and we've journeyed the journey together. And I think that's why I felt so drawn to us speaking out about it, because I do feel people sometimes when they go through tough times, they want to retract, especially when it yeah. comes to your health and they go, who do I listen to? There is so much noise out there in the marketplace 
there is so much it's like what's gonna work for me what's gonna what's gonna you know what's gonna make me feel better what's gonna make me heal what's gonna you know yeah. what's gonna help me and I think it's to actually move through all of this noise and realize that you know here there could be a community waiting for you to support you every step of the way as you navigate as you navigate yourself yeah yeah absolutely I mean you've got you know you have your caregivers at home but they can only I don't want to say they can only do so much because they feel like they they can move mountains for you okay and they want to but it's in you you are going through that journey you know it's a very a tough place to be in and emotionally you you feel devastated you don't want to complain every day you don't want to you know but then you find when I found you know this thrive with vitality community where I've been part of this now for this is my sixth year okay I mean it's a long time to build a connection with people and to be on that call weekly yes I've skipped a few calls however but when I'm on that call and for them to sit there and listen that's caregiving actually on a different level because it's a safe space it's a safe space and someone else is moving through something else and you can try and be there for her and inspire her and support her and you are going through something and everyone there they're just like don't worry you've got this you know we're gonna be here for you they're literally cheering you on and I think that's prices it's almost like they keep you accountable in a sense you know um because you leave the group and you're like you're definitely not as devastated as you were before you walked in, you know, <laughs> like something lifted. And it's that, it's almost like meeting your friends for tea, but you can't, and they are my friends now, the entire community, you know, that I see them all as friends now. Um, But you can't sit with your friends daily mm -hmm. and say, I'm not feeling well, I'm not doing this. I don't, you know, you need to have this safe space. And I think this support, this group is just, it shifts your focus in a different direction. Yeah. That's how I, I experienced it, definitely. So everybody, and this is just from my experience, because obviously I think we've all been touched by cancer. I think there's somebody that we know that has had cancer, we've had it, or, you know, we, there, there's, it's just all over. It's just really all over. And everybody has a different experience, in my opinion. Like there's not one journey that is exactly the same. But um, but I truly feel like there is huge reprogramming of yourself that needs to happen in order for you to have the breakthroughs in your wellness moving forward and your health vision and goals moving forward. So, Marlene, how do you feel like you've reprogrammed yourself? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, cancer is a reality. The the medication is a reality. The treatment is a reality. Whether you do chemo, whether you don't, whether you do radiation or not, surgery or not, every single person is different. Um, and every person that I talk to, there are people who are on the same treatment that I am on who has no side effects, others who have all side effects, you know, so we are all different. I think it's a it's a way of, and that's something that you taught me is, um, Kerry, that you taught me is to tap into my why. And why do I want to enhance my quality of life? I can't, I may not be able to do anything about the cancer or, you know, is it going to recur or not? My reality in, in my genetic pool with my, my family, it is a reality. It can, okay, there's a chance. But I refuse to live in fear every day. I refuse, you know, that is literally, what do they say? Fear is false evidence appear, appearing real. That's, it's, it hasn't happened and I'm not going to hold on to that. That's my choice. But my why has to be so strong, you know, to, to tap into it. Why do I want to wake up in the morning and make a conscious decision and think, Marlene, don't eat that chocolate you know the sugar is going to cause inflammation. You know inflammation is not good for a body that's got cancer. You know you know the acidity of it. There's so many things. So, and once you start actually eating a certain way, living a certain way, you're, you, you know, I remember my body being so clean at one stage that if I had a tiny piece of cheese, I'll never forget it. I was like, 
why have I got sinus? <laughs> I always thought I just had sinus. It wasn't that. It was actually the cheese, and I never realized it. Um, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna confess and say yesterday I had two pieces or maybe three pieces of honeycomb. This morning I woke up and I can feel I'm puffy. I can feel it. I can feel my gums are irritated and inflamed. I feel sluggish today. And then I think, oh, why did you do that? Like, honestly, you don't need to, okay? You are supposed to look after this body. God gave you this body. You need to help it every step of the way. And it's definitely a decision. You have to get to that point where you say, you know what? Yes, thank you. Cancer, you knocked me down. I get that. The treatment may knock me down, but I can give my body a fighting chance by making a decision to live a healthier lifestyle and have the support to help me through it, you know, because it's not easy to stay on it. We, we're human. <laughs> Absolutely. And I think, I think that's what we are, you know, big advocates of here is that take the medical treatment. We're not saying not, we're saying take it because it's really valid. It's really valid. Yeah. Um, do research, do your own research on it, but also support your system as much as possible by putting good nutrition, good thoughts, good emotions, good support structure in place. Because, you know, without, by doing just one thing, I think the journey could be either longer or you could crumble. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm a huge one as well to say, don't ever, don't ever, if there is a doctor out there that is giving you a time limit on how much time you have, I tell you now, <laughs> I will hunt them down. And it happened to my cousin. My cousin, mm -hmm. um, she ignored all the symptoms. She was a busy, busy, busy lady. And she just ignored all the symptoms. By the time she got to the doctor, the doctor said to her, you are not going home. You are going straight into hospital because she had multiple myeloma, which is bone marrow cancer, bone marrow cancer that was seeping through her skin. That's how long she had waited until she actually decided to go to the doctor. The doctor said to her, we're going to do everything we can, put you on all the treatments, but even with all the treatments, you've got six months. You've got six months. Now, as far as I'm concerned, it's like, thank goodness she was strong up here. She was really strong up here. And I remember going to visit her in hospital and she said to me, Kerry, tell me what I need to do. Tell me what I need to do. Just support me because I'm ready to change. You know, and I'm going, did you have to wait this long, Jane? Come on, you know. <laughs> but it was right then she changed her eating. She changed her thought processes. She changed everything. And yes. She did the chemo, she did stem cell uh, uh, transplants, she did everything. But she also did so much natural support as far as the nutrition goes and the mindset and, the, and, and putting all the good stuff into her body that she lasted yeah. 10 more years. 10 oh more goodness. years. She got to see her grandchildren, which was her dream. Now, can you imagine if you are somebody that goes, oh, I've been given six months, I've been given six months, I've been given six months, you're going to live that. You're going to live that and you're going to only live six months. So Absolutely. I feel like you are in control. You yeah. are the only one in control of you. You are the, you're in control of the choices you make and you're in control of exactly how you react to things. So you're in total control. You're in total control of your life. So the support that Marlene and I want to extend to everybody out there is that we want to help you reprogram your lifestyle so that, you, so that you're on a good, healthy, wellness lifestyle. We, we want to be there not just to support, but we want to teach and coach on how to actually do this. And a big thing is we want to teach you how to heal you. Because yeah. when you heal you and when you put your body into balance, your body heals. It heals. Yes. We are made, our physical bodies are made to heal. We heal every day. Every day we go through a natural autophagy. We get rid of old dead cells. 
every day, as long as we're alive, we get new stem cells. We get new cells that are doing healing. So our cells go to what's shouting the loudest and where the healing is needed. But these beautiful, beautiful bodies of ours are made to heal. So we need to just create an environment. If we can create an environment in order to activate the healing, that's what we want to support you do, to do. And, um, and everybody knows me. I'm the big one as far as I believe food is the medicine. So for me, food is the healer. You know, what we put in has a reaction. But it's just so amazing that um, I, I truly believe medicine has its place. I really, really do. I'm very respectful of it. And, um, and a combination of both is what so many people I've witnessed walk through life and be successful. And Marlene, you are one of them. And that's what was just so like, yes, you know, you've done the combination in order to make you stronger, in order to make you fight the good fight and win at the end. And so that is just like, you know, everything that you've journeyed, the experience that you've had is you are going to be able to inspire so many other people because you've worked, walked that journey for six, seven years. And it's been, it's been incredible. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Kerry. Yeah. And I, I have to say, um, you know, when I battled with um, my skin healing after my second surgery and my eating was still the same and we started the journey and um, I mean, it takes time for you to get your mind into the right place. You know, everyone gets through a, you go through that dip, you literally have to dig deep and you do what you need to, you know, but with support, it always helps, always helps. And when I started changing my lifestyle and I went in for my third, my fourth surgery and my skin started healing, well, my skin didn't want to heal. Remember, my skin didn't want to heal. I battled, I had to go in for again and again. And I remember, Johan, I was in hospital and um, I, they, they brought me food and I was like, I'm not eating that. <laughs> and he's like, no, I can't see you eating that. And he was like, I'll go out and I'll get what you need because I know that. And my skin healed in four weeks, yeah. four weeks. I'll never forget it because I had to go in after first surgery. Two months later, another surgery because my skin didn't heal, another surgery. And then when I started going on track, I was like, four weeks? Jan still looked at me and he goes, are you sure it's closed? Are you like, <laughs> are you sure it's healing? Because it is, it, it definitely, and he said, Molly, and I'm telling you now, it's the way that you're eating. It's the way that you're eating. And I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. I didn't. But now today sitting here, I know every other off, um, surgery after that, I didn't battle with any of that because I was honestly eating the right way. Um, and it, yeah. Uh, I just want everyone to know that that's, you know, they've, it's out there and they can do it. And it's uh, people look at me funny when I say, you really need to join this. I'm not being, I literally want you to experience it and, you know, not just be a survivor, take control and stand in your power. Yeah. And, and this is why it's just so true. It's, um, you know, we all have the ability, but there is so much interference nowadays and there's so much as I mentioned there's so much noise around that we don't know which way to turn but when you've got thousands of people that have been able to be successful with changing their lifestyle it's like okay what do I need to do what do I need to do so um so I would love to um I'd love to if there's any questions for Marlene please please just uh, pop them in the chat or put your um electronic hand up because yeah, if there's any questions, I'd love Marlene to, to answer them. But um, but I'd love to also just um, explain a little bit about what Marlene and I have put together. Because as she's done the journey with the community, what we're trying to do is we're trying to build a new community of people that have been through either very serious illnesses or cancer and, um, and really build a community called Thrive with Vitality. Um, and and what that is, it's an ongoing supporting platform for you to dial in on a weekly basis and get advice, take action and be supported so that you know that you're moving yourself forward. You're learning about how to heal yourself, how to put your own body back into balance. But at the same time, if things happen, if you feel like there's a wagon that you're falling off, you know, because I know that's a, something people use all the time. 
at least you know there's people around that can advise as well as support can really just hold you there to inspire you to take the next action, to do the next thing, to really make sure that you're moving your life in, in the forward direction. So, um, so yes. I yeah, think and I think it's in you, hey? You choose you. Yeah. You, we, we are all mothers and we work and we've got lots of on our plate, but you have to choose you. You know, if you've been through this diagnosis and that's something I can say honestly before diagnosis I didn't choose me yeah. and during a lot of you know I I, I I I was lost completely lost and then taking that and finding this this natural journey with my oncology plan and waking up one day and thinking oh my word what happened how did I how did I do this how did I actually get here and just that feeling, it's like self-satisfying. It's like I ran the comrades. <laughs> like, wow, I can do this. You so did it, it's a it, multi-marathon. You did, you did it. And, it. and that's what it is. The health journey is a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's not a sprint. It's, it's like we've got to constantly be in training mode for, you know, for what's coming next, for what's coming next and, um, and for what surprise might turn up and what occasion might turn up and, and how it's difficult for us to be around people that have got no symptoms because there's people out there that have no symptoms and there's people out there that don't feel anything and they don't have the aches and pains and they don't get the headaches and they don't get the gut issues and they don't get the joint pain and, and their knees are working fine and their hips are working fine. There are people like that and they can eat whatever they want to eat and they carry on and they carry on. But there are people and we're in that group that when we eat certain things, it causes pain in our body. And it's like, how do we avoid that when there's a whole lot of others that can eat whatever they want and it's absolutely fine. And it, it's, some of them are not eating. I don't know. Johan <laughs> and Nikita, they both literally, they can eat whatever they like. They both, you know, whether they're healthy, I don't really know, to be quite honest with you, because what they eat, I, I but my husband never gets sick. He never gets sick. You know, it's just, it's, it's incredible. And then there's me and I'm like, okay, fine. <laughs> I just have to work a little bit harder. Okay, that's how it is. That's exactly it. Because like you said, genetically, you have got totally different genes. And so you actually have to watch out for these things. Whereas other people, um, they, they, they were obviously, their immune systems are really strong. And so they don't pick up things that come by or they don't get knocked by anything or they don't carry any of these pathogens in their system either. Because I'm also a great believer that when we've got pathogens in our system, it irritates the cells, which could turn into cancer cells. So that's something we unpack on this journey and, and be able to clear out um, of, of, um, of our body is toxins at a real, real deep cellular level, because I really felt that is hugely, hugely important. So, um, so yeah, some people, they don't have that issue and other people, you know, they, they do have to watch out. They've got to, they've got to be careful and they've got to watch out. And so when we're in a, a world like that, it's like, at least, you know, that you've got a community that you can turn to that is like-minded. It's like, okay, yes. I'm the one that refined sugar causes inflammation. And so it's really hard, but I've got a whole lot. I've got this whole community. I've got this whole tribe actually of people with me. I've got everybody that is on the same page, on the same page, you know, that it's like if, if they put sugar in their body, it's going to trigger the cancer or it's going to trigger inflammation or it's going to trigger pain. And so people are different. People are different. But you know that you come together and you've got the support around you of, of like-minded people. And that makes a huge difference. Makes a very big difference. Oh, yeah. It's priceless. It's absolutely priceless. Yeah. It's like it's your highlight of the week is to, hey, we've got our call. It's not like, oh, we've got our call. It's like, yay, I've got my call. I had a really bad week. Okay, I really need some support. Yeah. Someone needs to just slap me back on track, you know, that type of thing. And it's it's it just makes it easier. Mm -hmm. It makes it easier. Yeah. So what Marlene and I've put together, and I'll I'll explain a little bit about it, is we've taken um 
a 12 week program. We've taken a 28 day uh, deep uh, cellular cleanse. We've taken liver cleanses. We've taken emotional programs. We've taken mental programs. We've taken some real deep soul searching programs and we've put it all together. We've put all of this all together, but we've put it all together over a year because this is not a sprint. This is a marathon and people can join us and they can leave and they can join us and they can leave. It doesn't matter if you come in because there is, and we're super, super excited about this. There will be an app that you can touch into as well. And all the information will be there. So if you want to touch in when we're dealing with the nutrition side of things, that's brilliant. Those are the videos that you watch and those are the things that you go through. But if you want to tap in whilst we're going through and talking really about the deep emotions and maybe toxic emotions that need to be released, then you tap into that side of things. And then later down the road, if you want to tap in to the, to the mindset and exactly, you know, how do you change this programming that has been so deep inside us that we're running the same program every day and we're on this hamster wheel and we don't actually know how to get off it, then you tap into when we're reprogramming the mindset and how we're absolutely lifting the limiting beliefs away and moving you into a thriving mindset so that it can actually yeah. serve you, whether you've just been diagnosed whether somebody near you has been diagnosed and you need to be the support of those people. But um, yeah, we'll offer a complete, real, real, what I call very much so holistic program. And, um, and it's a journey over a year of tapping in and out of all of these things. So, um, so Marlene, if you want to add anything, but um, I was just going to share the screen with a little bit of the info as well. Yeah, I think if you share the screen, and um, because it is, it is, you know, you you start with with anything and you think we, we live in this world of like instant gratification. So I want to be skinny tomorrow. I want to be healed tomorrow. I want to have hair tomorrow. I want, you know, I want my skin to heal tomorrow. We want that. Why? Because we tap on our phones and it's done, it's sorted. But I have realized that I'm happy to live like this the rest of my life. I've done it for six years now. And in the times that I fell off and I came back on, the times that I fell off, I was so unhappy and unhappy with myself and thinking, you know, it's almost like self-sabotaging. Like, honestly, you know, when you eat that, you're not going to feel well. Why are you eating that? <laughs> okay. And then you have to end up at oncology and say to them, my shoulder's paining like this, everything, you know, nothing's. And she looks at you and she goes, no, it's fine. Go to physio, have this, take this painkiller. And I'm like, I'm not doing that. I know how to fix this. I literally just need to zone in again. And then thank goodness I can just say, hi, I'm back on the call. <laughs> you know? So it definitely makes a massive difference. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I love what you're sharing there because it's just, it's so real. It's so real and so valid. So, um, so this is um, what we've put together in order to support and um, and to help others. It's how to thrive with vitality and also how you stand in your own power because it is about how to tap in and heal yourself um, and you've got the capability to do that and you've got the inner power to do that. And it's it's really just tapping in and realizing that that can be done. And, um, and so if anybody's interested in this uh, brochure, please let us know because we will send this through to you. But it really is just outlining... Um, everything that we um that we've you know the research that we've put together as well as um how how we're going to help and uh, a little bit more about marlene there um and then yeah her journey so i'm just rushing through this sorry marlene but but i think people we can attach this and people can read this um and then this is the the program and it's really about thriving with the energetic body because I think that's one of the things that you can really understand is that even though you have cancer or you're going through it, it doesn't stop you from actually tapping into your energy, you know? So, you know, sometimes the medication can knock that, but you can also definitely tap into to, um, your own energy. And so some of the topics that we'll be covering is as the food energy and letting the food be the medicine, the digestive system and how your body actually um, absorbs the food 
um, the gut microbiome and how that throws things out of balance, the cellular cleansing and, and the pathogens that get stuck in the cells and how to actually release those. And then all the detoxing that the body needs to go through and how to do that. And Marlene, when you were going through detoxing and cleansing alongside the, the chemo and the medication, um, how did your body feel? Like, was it able to cope with that? No, definitely. Um, I mean, it knocks you for a day or two where you definitely, I mean, it, there's, there's so much in you, so you have to get rid of it. Um, so you have headaches for a few days. You do have, you do feel a little bit lethargic, but it's sort of like day three, day four, then all of a sudden you get this burst of energy yeah. and you're not really sure where it comes from. So it it helps a lot. Detoxing is, a, I'm a massive believer in detoxing. Um, and and that's why we also, sorry? Go for it. No, and, and that's also why we've reached out to the Cancer Association that we're going to, you know, see if we can collaborate with them because it will help so many people that will that's going through chemo or any other form of treatment. And, and I think what we uh, would we really want to just remind everybody is that we're doing it with food, so it's gentle. And, um, you know, we're not putting any other remedies or any other supplements or anything else like that. We're doing it with food. It's gentle, but it's really powerful. It's really, it's underlying. It's really, really powerful. So it's actually a beautiful, beautiful journey to, to experience. And then uh, we move on to thrive with the energetic mind. Because once again, it's your mindset they can actually set the scene to whether you thrive through your diagnosis or you crumble through your diagnosis. And we want you to thrive through it. We don't want you to crumble. We really don't. So here we go through, uh, these are just some of the things that we're going to be touching on, but negative self-talk and positive self-talk, the limiting beliefs, the subconscious thoughts, the self-sabotaging patterns, benefits of visualization, and then activation and tools for the thriving mindset. So that is, is really one thing. And then there's emotions. There's our emotions as well. And it's our feelings. And we can't get away from that. We absolutely can't get away from that. But there's ways to deal with them. There's really ways to deal with them. And how do we make sure that our feelings are the real feelings? We're not collapsing. And we're not living on this absolute high. Um, but it's really just been very, very real. And so we introduced different tools there. Uh, the breathing there's there's different breathing techniques for different reasons so we're going to be you know going through various different breathing techniques uh, what i call delicious water because we've got to be hydrated in the system uh, dirty blood syndrome and had to actually clean the blood out because that is hugely important organs and how they store emotions visualizations to heal emotions and then releasing toxic feelings and toxic thoughts because that i think is just huge to be able to Feel a weight lifted off your shoulders and not carry that, not absolutely carry that. And then we move into thriving with your energetic soul, because this is who you truly are. And it's really about trusting in yourself, really about trusting in God and the universe and nature, really about trusting in the supportive structures that are there, really about having faith whilst you move through tough times and whilst you move through, you know, a, a real um, hard you know days that are there it's like it really is tapping back into you and how do you get through that but we're going to be able to enhance you and give you some tools so that you can actually move through that so yeah so just discover some tools to tap into the deepest love and joy and live from a place of peace love and calm so that's what we're looking towards so your coaches and your teachers is marlene and myself and um and for this annual program um, it's really what we wanted to do is we wanted to make it accessible to everybody because we also realize that when you're going through these type of things, there's medical bills that can be so exorbitant that you actually, it's so crazy that it's like, I want to do something, but like all my money is gone on the medicine. Like, how do I leave anything more for me? So what we've done, Marlene being in South Africa, um, we had to look at how can this be affordable for South Africans as well as be affordable for anybody else that is going through this journey. So we feel that we've made it really, really affordable and we're charging 136 US dollars. That's it. Just 136 US dollars on a monthly basis for you to be part of the community and get all of the information, get all the tools, 
get all the access to the calls, get all the access to the videos, the resources, the support, as well as the app. So, um, so we really feel like if you are, if you know anybody, if you um, know anybody that could really benefit from this, please, you know, share this with, with them. We'll share the brochure, we'll share the videos. Uh, we're going to be doing more of these uh, interactions as well. So, um, so we just want to share with people what is available, like what's possible, you know, instead of them going through it alone or not knowing where to turn or also thinking, I've got to do this, I've got to do nutrition, but I've also got to worry about my thoughts and I've got to worry about my feelings and everything's having an impact on me. And instead of feeling overwhelmed, we've got you, we've got you. You know, you don't have to be overwhelmed by what you're moving through. We'll be here for you every step of the way. And Marlene, um, you've already had conversations with people um, that are hopping on this journey. So just um, just tell us a few of those conversations because I think um, I think that's really valid too. Yeah, so um, I, I have been very active with the Cancer Association in South Africa um, for years now. And I'm actually a global hero of hope. So, you know, it's international. And I am, I've now just been made the chairperson of the Survivor Committee. Um, and that's why we want to bring it in. So I've got, I'm actually chatting to a lady right now who is, um, you know, she just started her journey and struggling with making the decisions on where to go, what's best for her. You know, and we've already had discussions. I've got so many ladies reaching out that we are supporting. I support them anyway. So we decided why not do it like this? You know, $136, if I think about it, it's just under, it's like under 2,000 Rand or whatever a month in South Africa. You know, if I go for a, a massage and I do my nails, that's already 2,000 Rand. And I've literally done something on the outside and I haven't done anything for the inside. That's actually the problem. <laughs> so I'm just thinking that, you know, life is expensive. I get that. But we do other things to try and feel better. And that's what I keep on saying to them is that if we start from the inside and work our way out, you're going to feel great anyway. You're not going to want to worry about a massage because your body's going to feel so good. Um, and I can, I can totally, I'm a testimony for that. You know, I know that that's how you feel. So, um, yeah, they, they all keen. I'm going to, um, we, I'm chatting to another lady that's got a wellness center, um, on Thursday, because we've got a public holiday tomorrow. She's also very keen. She's very involved with um, colon cancer, etc. She also knows the, you know, the absolute um, importance of nutrition, looking after your gut, etc. So it's, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about it because if people can help themselves, you know, and heal themselves, yes, you need your oncology. I get that. But I know that I feel better changing my lifestyle, um, taking control, my mind, when my mind feels better, then my body automatically just follows. It's just how it is. So yeah, that's my five six. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. 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 Brilliant. Brilliant. So are there any, are there any questions that, um, or any comments that anybody would like to make is, um, are you all, are you all good there? Libby, so nice to see you, Janine as well. Dibs, Glenn, yay. DM, Philip, Bridget. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys, for being on here. Thank you. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it. So, um, so please reach out to us or we'll reach out to you and just um, send you the brochure for you to just send on to people or send this recording on to people. If anybody really does need help, support and, and a path, if they're looking for a path on this crazy journey that this is, um, we're here for you. We've got the path. We've got your cheerleaders on the side of the pathway as well. So we'll be here for you guys. So thank you. Thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks for your precious time. And we hope to see you soon. Cool. Take care. Bye. Thanks, Debbie. <laughs> Thanks, Marlene. Thanks, girls. Bye. Bye. <laughs>